Healing from Hidden Abuse, A Journey Through the Stages of Recovery from Psychological Abuse, written by licensed clinical social worker Shannon Thomas, provides an in-depth exploration of the recovery process for survivors of psychological abuse. The book navigates through the often overlooked trauma inflicted by covert psychological or emotional abuse, not as blatantly obvious as physical abuse, but just as damaging. Thomas outlines a multi-stage healing journey that equips survivors with the understanding and tools needed to overcome the toxic impacts of this abuse and move toward a healthier, more empowered life. The recovery outlined in the book is a phased process, starting with the realization of abuse and ending with a transformed life post-healing. The stages, while distinct, are not necessarily linear, and survivors may move back and forth between them. The journey begins with the despair stage. This is the initial phase where survivors first recognize the reality of the abuse they have endured. During this time, individuals often battle intense emotional pain, confusion, and a deep sense of betrayal. Victims may struggle to reconcile the kind and caring persona of the abuser that was initially presented to them with the cruel and manipulative behavior that later emerged. Survivors at this stage are caught in a cycle of trying to understand why the abuse happened and may still harbor hopes of returning to the honeymoon phase of their relationship with the abuser. Education Stage Following the initial shock and despair, survivors move into the education stage. In this phase, individuals immerse themselves in learning about the nature and tactics of psychological abusers. Knowledge becomes a powerful tool in decoding the complex dynamics of covert abuse. Recovering individuals begin to comprehend insidious patterns such as gaslighting, projection, and other manipulative strategies. The education stage is crucial as it allows survivors to detach from the emotional entanglement with the abuser and recognize the systemic nature of the psychological abuse. Additionally, it helps them to realize that they are not alone and that their experiences are valid and acknowledged by the professional community. Awakening Stage The awakening stage follows, characterized by an empowering realization that recovery is possible. Survivors start to see the abuse for what it is, and the fog of confusion begins to lift. This newfound clarity allows individuals to feel a resurgence of their self-worth and strength. Emotions still run high, but they are now accompanied by a sense of hope. In this stage, survivors commit to moving forward in their healing journey and are less likely to be pulled back into the abuser's manipulation. Boundaries Stage With a better understanding of their experiences and a growing sense of self-empowerment, survivors enter the boundaries stage. Setting boundaries is essential in securing a safe emotional distance from the abuser and preventing further psychological harm. This phase involves establishing clear limits on what behaviors are acceptable and enforcing consequences when those limits are crossed. Learning to assert boundaries often requires overcoming feelings of guilt and fear that the abuser may have instilled. Survivors renew relationships based on mutual respect and trust and become skilled at identifying and steering clear of unhealthy dynamics. Restoration Stage After successfully setting boundaries, the restoration stage marks a period where survivors reinvent their lives. In this phase, they work to rebuild aspects of their identity and life that were damaged by the abuse. Survivors explore personal interests, re-establish relationships with friends and family, and often seek out connections with others who have been through similar experiences. They may also engage in therapy, support groups, or other healing modalities. This stage is about creating a life that supports emotional well-being and reflects the survivor's true self, free from the constraints of the abuse. Maintenance Stage Finally, the maintenance stage is where survivors continue to practice the skills learned in the previous stages. They maintain their boundaries, nourish their restored self, and keep educated about psychological abuse to prevent falling into old patterns. This ongoing commitment helps consolidate the gains made during the healing process and fosters enduring resilience against potential abuse in the future. The maintenance stage is lifelong, with the understanding that healing is not a destination, but a continuous journey. Throughout the book, Thomas illustrates that healing from hidden abuse is multifaceted and deeply personal. Survivors not only have to grapple with the immediate emotional fallout, 
but also with the long-term impact on their self-image, relationships, and world outlook. They need to confront internalized negative beliefs and traumatic bonding that may keep them tied to the abuser. The book emphasizes the transformative potential of this healing journey, as survivors often emerge with a deeper understanding of themselves and a greater capacity for empathy and connection. Thomas also acknowledges the systemic and societal challenges faced by survivors, such as stigma and lack of recognition for psychological abuse. She underscores the significance of external support systems and resources, such as informed counseling professionals, community support, and educational materials to help survivors navigate through the healing process. In Healing from Hidden Abuse, Shannon Thomas provides a roadmap to recovery, recognizing that while the healing journey can be painful and complex, it ultimately leads to reclaiming control over one's life and finding a path toward personal fulfillment and inner peace. The book offers validation, support, and hope to those who have suffered psychological abuse and are working to overcome its lingering effects. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.